Good evening. Welcome to Golden Moments. Today, I'd like us to look at the story of creation. When the cosmos was created, the universe as we know it. The Bible says, Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. God announced himself, God. He came from eternity into time as we know it. And he created the heavens and the earth. We all know that what is impossible for man is possible for God. And we see the story of creation. He took six days and rested on the seventh. And I notice after each day, the Bible says, God saw it was good. And the evening and the morning were the first day, the third day, the fifth day. That was the general theme. God is God. And we know he could have created the earth, the heavens, and everything else in a moment. But he chose to take six days and rest on the seventh. What was he teaching us? What principle laid behind this? Well, every, each day it was good. And we, God saw that it was good. God had a reflection. He had a reflection each time he created the day. And he saw it was good. And that allowed him to move on to the next day. What am I saying? Friends, when we begin to reflect on our day, on our week, on our month, just like God, we are made in his image and in his likeness and our creative beings. Therefore, what are we creating? There's that man who says, my wife does not cook for me. Why? Because he stops and buys chips on his way home and he doesn't want no dinner. He's now created that in his house. His wife has down tools and he's angry. That man whose son does not speak to him. Why? Because every time he speaks to him, all he does is F and blind. He's created that in his house. He's created that divide between himself and his son. Unless we're able to reflect on what we have done throughout that day, we are held in a time warp because it's that reflection that allows us to build into the next day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, friends. Amen.